anti-Afro Spengali's. Listen, everyone, I have been engrossed in this Derek Chauvin trial. I had some updates I was going to give since the opening statements, but my plan changed. I'll get into that in a minute. So the purpose of this video is to make sure everyone is aware that's a supporter of this channel on the mission that we are working hard to find out a way to give you the updates so we don't compromise anyone's situation. There isn't just one update. There are multiple updates that we are working on. So just hang tight. We will be sure you get the information. There isn't any surprise because anti-fraud warriors already know what's happening. Okay, since I'm in court mode reviewing this trial, I thought I would show you this clip. It's an illustration. I want to explain the context, but I want you to see the clip first. That is going to drive the point home. I think some of you might get it, but first, take a look. Stay tuned, and I will return. Lindsay also got into some verbal sparring with Judge Kathy Dowd over perceived favoritism toward the defense attorney. And the judge, who had announced earlier in the day that she wasn't feeling well, had enough. Don't go down that road. Well, it's the truth, Judge. The, Don't go the down that road. Line. I always said <coughs> that I'm impartial to him, not impartial to him. I'm not going to believe that. Well, you don't have to believe it, Your Honor, but the truth is a lie. Oh. You want to repeat what you just said? I think the court heard me. You want to, Deputy? Let's take her back. We're done with this today. Now. Thank you. You can't. Judge, that must get to the record. That if we could just all settle down for a minute. I'm not unsettled, Mr. Muscat. It's your attorney, and I have warned her once already that this court is not going to put up with that. Wait a minute, Deputy. But they're, but they're I, forcibly leading her away, and I don't think we've got... We, we don't need to forcibly lead her away, Deputy. Okay. And, and um, but can I'm we just going adjourn to for the day so I can go do what I have to do, Judge? Listen. Can we do that, please? Listen. I am not going to put up with her disrespect. I've warned her before. This is not the first time she has indicated that I am partial to Mr. Manley when I have tried so hard as a member of this community to stay impartial, to stay away from the rumors. And I'm tired of the innuendo. I'm tired of her trying to tell me how I'm going to run my courtroom. Now, if she wants to apologize and go back to doing her case, Instead of demeaning me, we can do that. Yes, Otherwise, she's going back till 4 o'clock. Okay, Judge. I apologize on behalf of... I didn't ask you to. I said she asked me. I am sorry the court took offense to what I said. Then I quit did, saying I, it. I did not mean to offend the court. I believe that the court... And, and I'm sorry... Be careful. I, I, I'm sorry the court took offense. I am. But all day long, I have sat and I have listened to Mr. Manley. And how many times have I ruled in your favor, ma'am? It has nothing to do with me you ruling in my favor, but you don't prevent him or you don't tell him to stop doing what he's doing. Because when I don't tell you to stop either. Now let's go back to this case, but you've had your one and only warning, ma'am. I'm telling you, I'm at it with this. Now, some people might see this as an extreme but I absolutely am serious. Serious as a heart attack. <laughs> Seriously now, people. Since I started doing videos on YouTube, there has never been a threat to my freedom. No one on YouTube has threatened my freedom. And that's the most important thing to me. Nobody is going to get me locked up, regardless, truth or lie, has come anywhere near getting me locked up. Because my freedom is the most important thing to me. So in that context, no, whatever is said, is said. It's not something that is affecting me to the point where I'm going to get dragged out of somewhere and put in a jail cell. That brings me to 
the two phrases you see here on the screen. An empty can makes the most noise and silence is golden. I think these are pretty good mottos to observe and to live by because you can really learn a lot just observing. When you see these two operating opposite each other because both concepts are active because silence is active. If you really think about that, silence is indeed a strategy. Empty can makes the most noise. That's an involuntary strategy. Not a very useful one to those who aren't able to control the circumstance, but it sure is beneficial to the observer. Think about it, people. I know these are old school terms, but some things never grow old. For supporters of the mission of the channel, wanting me to address or asking me questions about, say, a scenario or people or persons who you don't allow access to you, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm not going to even waste my time indulging or addressing that type of situation. If it involves a situation where you do provide access to a person or a group of people and you want me to comment on something because it's bothering you or you want to get my view about it, this is what I have to say about that. Well, I'm being requested because it's creating some sort of issue or there's a like a dilemma. If there's a scenario where your value system is being challenged up against the opposing force or forces, that's something that you're going to have to reconcile. Because if I'm not accessing that situation, that's because there's a reason for that. I've already made my decision. So I'm not going to re-engage a situation that's already been made and determined to be crystal clear. Let me put it to you this way. People will be willing to watch a literal train wreck from a far distance where they can't be affected by the flying metal, they can't be choked up by the fumes, the smoke, the gases, none of the, you know, cars are going to run into them. They won't get trapped by the twisted metal, but they will not buy a ticket to sit in the train. That's the bottom line, people. I have plenty of things that I can do to make sure visitors and supporters of the channel can get updated factual information. And that is the goal. I hope this has clarified your questions because I'm so focused on this trial. My attention and direction is on the trial. I absolutely am going to be updating you on other information. Other anti-fraud warriors will keep you updated if you want the truth. For sure you will get it. Be patient. Don't touch that dial. You know the drill. Fire. Beware.